Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online and on the go, this is Valley News Live at 10. It's an alarming number. More than 50% of sexual assaults that happen to college students happen within the first few months of the fall semester. That's why September is National Campus Safety Awareness Month. So what can you do to make sure your students stay safe at school? Valley News seems Joseph Ojo talks with local college students to see what they do to stay out of harm's way while on campus. I have had some late nights where I have to walk home late. It's a sad reality. You can be walking to your dorm from pulling an all-nighter at the library and then you are attacked. Living in very fast changing times now and I think safety is at it should be at our top of our list. Students like Seth McLeod say he has never had a reason to feel unsafe on his campus and hearing that during this month colleges across the country are raising awareness for campus safety it helps students like Seth to be mindful of dangers out there. But you don't want to be walking alone and being susceptible to anything. One parent we spoke with said before he sent his son off to school, it was important to discuss using the buddy system when walking alone late at night. It only takes one mishap and something uh, you know, unfortunate can happen that we all want to avoid. And several other students tell us they practice being vigilant. And usually I just um, have my phone out or look for campus police, something like that to kind of remind me of safety. While the campus has many safety resources on hand, Alex Starwalt says there are little tips students can practice. He says he lets his friend know where he is going and when he will be there. And if you're not there at that like designated time that you told them they can come and help. Other than that, you just you can walk with someone. I always have a buddy if you're walking late at night. Other safety tips mentioned by students included staying off your phone and being alert and also taking one of your headphones out your air to know your surroundings. We can't be uh, too aware of, uh, of safety, and uh, it's, it's important that uh, the campus uh, takes safety very seriously and to instill that in the student body. In Fargo, Joseph Ojo, Valley News Live. And people we talk to on campus encourage parents to start conversations about campus safety before your student sets off for school. For more information about campus safety, you can head to our website, valleynewslive.com. And a driver is in critical condition after being involved in a crash on I-94 on the Red River Bridge very early this morning. Police say 20-year-old Muhammad Mabera was traveling eastbound on I-94 at an unknown speed around 4.15 a.m. His vehicle veered off the road, striking a guardrail and then ricocheted across the interstate and struck the median barrier. Mababwa was transported to Sanford Medical Center in Fargo and is in critical condition. The Bismarck Airport had two emergency landings on Saturday. The first one was reported at 422 p.m. involving a medium-sized aircraft. The plane suffered an issue with flight controls but did land safely. 34 people were on board at the time of the landing. The scene was cleared within 20 minutes. Then about an hour later, a light Piper aircraft made an emergency landing after engine problems were reported. It's not known if the pilot had a passenger. No injuries were reported from either incident. Cool weather started off our Sunday here in the valley, making it feel like fall is here. But how is our Labor Day looking, especially for those of you who want to enjoy the outdoors? Let's check in with meteorologist Justin Fanfarelli for more. Jay Fan, how's it looking? And thank you, Melanie. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, we were uh, okay today. Temperatures into the mid to upper 70s. We had a cool start, and it is starting to get cool again with the clear skies and the calm winds. Here's current temperature at 56 in Fargo, 54 Jamestown, 51 Devil's Lake and into Lakes Country, mid to upper 50s right now. The wind is going calm in most places or very light from the south, and we are seeing mainly clear skies. We have to make our way all the way down past Sioux Falls before we start to run into any clouds and rain with the clear skies and the nearly calm winds. Temperatures are going to fall into the lower 50s. We got a light wind from the south uh, happening, say, around daybreak, so that will keep us uh, with low temperatures tonight into the upper 40s. We'll tell you what to expect to start the week coming up later in the newscast. Okay, I know a lot of people are kind of wondering what weather to be expecting for Labor Day tomorrow. Yep, and it looks pretty nice and warm. Okay, thank you, Justin. Mm -hmm. And if you want weather updates to your phone all throughout the week, make sure to download the latest version of the Valley News Live Storm Team Weather app. Just search VNL Weather in your app store.
Chinese billionaire Liu Chengdong, also known as Richard Liu, the founder of the Beijing-based e-commerce site JD.com, was arrested in Minneapolis on suspicion of criminal sexual conduct. Liu was arrested late Friday night and released Saturday afternoon pending possible criminal charges. The jail records don't provide details of the alleged incident. JD.com said in a statement today that Liu was falsely accused while on a business trip in the U.S. and that police investigators found no misconduct. He plans to resume on his trip as normal. JD.com is China's second largest e-commerce company. A kayak ride on Lake Superior that ended in the deaths of four Wisconsin family members would have been difficult, even for experienced paddlers, officials are saying. They say this was a sobering reminder of the vastness and danger of the largest of the Great Lakes. The family from Loyal, Wisconsin set out from Madeline Island in an open-top tandem kayak Thursday for a four-mile paddle to Michigan Island. But their 13-and-a-half-foot kayak capsized after the wind picked up. 39-year-old Eric Fryman and his three children, ages 3, 5, and 9, were found dead in the frigid water. His wife was the only one who survived. All of them were wearing their life jackets. Coast Guard officials said hypothermia was probably a major factor in the deaths, especially of the children. The National Transportation Safety Board provided an update on the crash that killed eight people along a New Mexico interstate. On Thursday, a tractor trailer carrying produce was headed from California to Tennessee on I-40 when its driver's side front tire blew out. Police say the truck crossed over the median and hit a Greyhound bus head-on between Gallup and Grants. The bus was carrying 47 passengers. Eight people died on board, including the bus driver. Even though only the driver's side tire blew out, both front tires of the semi are now headed to Washington, D.C. for a closer look. The truck driver, who is not facing any charges, says he tried to prevent the crash. I seen it as soon as I... It, it locked up. I seen where I was going right away. So I was trying to do everything I could. To. Today, NTSB officials said a more in-depth investigation into what happened is underway, which includes looking into both drivers. And divers returned to the roaring Colorado River today in search of four people missing and presumed dead after a head-on boat collision along the California-Arizona border that injured 13 other people. The recreational boats crashed Saturday in a park as night was falling on a rushing river crowded with holiday weekend boaters, making the rescue operation difficult. The search for two people presumed submerged was halted overnight. No one on the boats was wearing a life vest. One person suffered life-threatening injuries and was flown by helicopter to a hospital in Las Vegas. Twelve other people suffered non-life-threatening injuries. The sale of energy drinks to kids could be banned in England. But what about here in the Valley? We'll have the details on why more places are looking to ban kids from getting energy drinks later on Valley News Live at 10. But after the break, Carson Wentz was busy this weekend doing what he does best other than play football, and that's giving back to the community. You're watching Valley News Live on TV, online, and on the go. Always on wherever you are, whenever you need to know, Valley News Live. You won't want to miss Home's Labor Day sale. Everything is on sale. Buy this sofa and love seat for $9.99 and get the accent chair for free. Plus, get free shipping and zero interest financing until 2022. The Labor Day sale at Home Furniture. We love getting 11% off everything at Menards, especially when we're taking on big projects like our laundry room. We're saving in every aspect, from the Clearview cabinets down to the Tide detergent. You can get it all in one stop, and the 11% savings keeps us coming back. We saved over $500 on our laundry room, and I can't wait to start our next project. Your next project starts right now with 11% off everything at Menards. Save big money at Menards. This is Denise. She lives in Kildare. Like 300,000 North Dakotans, Denise has a pre-existing condition that used to mean no health insurance. For me, it's breast cancer. For Denise, it's heart disease. She has something she'd like to say to Kevin Kramer. 
Mr. Kramer, I don't know why you voted to let insurance companies go back to denying coverage for pre-existing conditions, but I know Heidi would never do that. I'm Heidi Heitkamp, and I approve this message for Denise. When it comes to your health, you want a company that's been around the block a few times because you know you can't predict the future, but you can prepare for it. For 85 years, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Minnesota has been here for whatever tomorrow brings. So keep doing your thing and let us protect your health. You're not new to this, and neither are we. You and Blue. Valley News Live has the resources to stay in touch with everything that's happening on the Hill. Our team of reporters is here to hold your lawmakers accountable. Working hard every day for you. The Valley News Live DC Bureau. Our nation is struggling with a sweeping opioid epidemic. Monday on the Valley Today, mental health experts say they found a possible solution. And we'll have your full Labor Day forecast. All remaining inventory must go during the store remodel sale at Gabbard's. Save 20 to 70% off Gabbard's everyday low price. Shop now for the best selection as we clear out all floor models. It's the store remodel sale going on now at Gabbard's. Our team at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Premier Properties provides local expert market insight so you can buy and sell with confidence. North Dakota wildlife officials are trying to boost the walleye population in new smaller lakes that have popped up around the state during recent wet decades. Game and Fish Department crews this summer stocked nearly 10 million walleye fingerlings in more than 140 bodies of water across the state. More than 8 million of them went into smaller lakes, due in part to the fact that the large lake Sakakawea Reservoir on the Missouri River doesn't currently need many. But there are more than 50 new lakes in North Dakota in which the walleye population is still getting established. Rapid City officials say the city's landfill could be full by 2037, 16 years earlier than anticipated. A Minnesota-based engineering firm's 2016 report estimated the landfill would reach capacity by 2053. The former landfill superintendent says the 16-year difference equates to a loss of tens of millions of dollars. Public Works Director Dale Tech said that while the original 2006 study was accurate when it was published, it was conducted before some cells in the landfill were designed and built, so the estimate has changed. A city official says the landfill will likely try to adjust practices to extend capacity. Carson Wentz was busy dishing out meals from a food truck in South Philadelphia Friday night for the official launch of a food truck that gives back. His audience of One Foundation and Connect Church partnered to create the Thy Kingdom Crumb food truck. Wentz says the goal is to give back in a different way with an atmosphere to just love people. The truck will make various stops around the city in South Jersey serving free food. How would you feel about kids being banned from buying energy drinks? We'll have the details on why more places are looking to ban kids from getting energy drinks right after the break. And a high of 74, a few degrees below average for this time of year. And we picked up just over a half an inch of rain in the 4 a.m. hour. And we're going to be dry tonight and tomorrow. We'll have the details coming up next. 10 